Hello and welcome to our high level PTZ Optics camera training video. This is a two part series where in part one, we are going to go over very high level what a PTZ camera is, the video connectors, and the various use cases for PTZ cameras. In video two, we will go over our brand new PTZ Optics Move 4K and Move SE PTZ cameras. So let's get started. Now, PTZ cameras are often used for video streaming. And PTZ stands for Pan Tilt Zoom. And this is the operations of a robotic camera that can be controlled by a remote operator, whether you're using a joystick controller, a smartphone, or a, um, even an Xbox controller. So we'll show a lot of different software and hardware solutions for robotic camera control. It's widely used for professional audiovisual installations because it's very easy to automate the operations of these cameras, whether it is through a touch screen or a popular software that the customers are using. It's, of course, popular for live broadcast and streaming. And PTZ cameras are very popular because they can cover large areas. Not only can one single PTZ camera kind of move and rotate to capture multiple areas around a space, they also feature optical zoom, which is something we'll look at. And that is the ability to zoom in from long distances without degrading the quality. Um, so it's, it's very popular. PTZ Optics flagship cameras are the PTZ Optics Move SE, which is our affordable line, the PTZ Optics Move 4K, which is our premium camera there in the middle, and then the PTZ Optics Link 4K, which supports Dante, a new AV over IP platform uh, that you may learn about more in the future. Now, high level PTZ Optics cameras and, and PTZ cameras can be connected in a variety of ways. One of the most popular is HDMI. And HDMI is a connector that is very popular for connecting into video switchers and television monitors so that you can either see the video large screen or connect it to a video switcher where you can switch between multiple HDMI video outputs. Um, the next very popular connector is SDI. And SDI has been around for a very long time and it's very popular for high definition video when you need to run a cable hundreds of feet. And the difference here is that HDMI generally can only be run up to 50 feet before you start needing extenders, HDMI extension systems, uh, whereas with SDI it can be run hundreds of feet uh, without losing its signal. Now IP, which is basically an ethernet connection, right? This is the LAN connection here. The LAN connection is very, very popular for PTZ cameras because these cameras support power over Ethernet. So when you learn a little bit about networking, you can understand that there are power over Ethernet network switches, and those network switches allow you to connect the cameras to multiple different computers and devices on your network. So that one single Ethernet cable can be used to power the camera, control the camera, which we'll show in a moment, and send audio and video out of the camera so you can stream directly to YouTube or Facebook. Now there's also USB connections as well and I want to just zoom into this camera here and show some of the connectors on the back. So on this side here we've got our Ethernet that will power the camera. If you're not using Ethernet to power the camera there is a uh, 12 volt power supply included. You've got uh, USB 2.0 which is handy for uh, firmware updates and different things. We have 3G SDI, that's that SDI connector, and I should mention it's a locking connector, so you can screw on SDI and lock it directly to the camera. We have HDMI, which everyone's very familiar with, and then this one here is USB-C, and USB-C is a very popular connector for connecting cameras to computers very quickly and easily. Now, common hardware that is found in live streaming and video production solutions are cameras, of course, whether these are PTZ cameras or webcams. Um, there are very uh, lots, of, lots of devices used to capture video. There are capture cards, which are used to convert video from HDMI, from SDI, into a connection point to a computer. And those you will find quite often in live streaming and video production systems. 
Video switchers are used to switch multiple cameras and video inputs to a single source. So in certain scenarios, you might want to show a video feed on a projector and you might want to switch those. Um, networks are becoming very popular. So whether that is a power over ethernet network switch um, that has multiple ports that you can plug all your devices into. And then of course, there is lots of different software for live streaming and video production which is generally run on a Windows or a Mac computer. OBS, you will certainly hear a lot about. That is open broadcaster software, but you also might hear about vMix or Wirecast or some of the more professional options available today. Now, optical zoom is something that I wanted to mention quickly, and I'll show optical zoom on my camera that I have right now as well. This is a PTZ Optics Studio Pro, and one of the things you're seeing here is the ability to zoom in and out. That is optical zoom, not digital zoom. Optical zoom with PTZ optics cameras allow our customers to zoom in quite uh, far away from a subject and capture them in high quality. So we have a field of view calculator on our website where you can select the optical zoom lens of the camera. We offer 12X, 20X, and 30X lenses. And to give you an example, we have a 30X lens and we've entered the distance from the camera to the subject that let's say this is a person on stage and we've clicked calculate and what we found is that the image width is when it's fully zoomed in is three feet so that means you can capture a head and shoulder shot of a human uh, on stage up to 75 feet away uh, and then when fully zoomed out you can capture a wide view of 86 feet so you can see how these cameras are very versatile and allow for a lot of different use cases. For example, live events where the cameras might be kind of towards the back of the stage or the back of an area and we're live streaming these events out. Um, webinars, especially for educational purposes, whether that be for a business or corporation for healthcare, um, in worship services, in churches and spiritual centers like to live stream their services so that they can reach people who might not be able to attend in person. And then, of course, educational organizations, whether it's live streaming a graduation or capturing video of a lecture for the learning management system. Now, we have three different camera models that I quickly mentioned, and we're not going to go into detail in this video, but the Move SE uh, has markets that are a little bit price sensitive. So a smaller church or a K through 12 school or a small business or a state and local government. The Move 4K is a little bit more future-proof. You know, not a lot of people are ready for 4K yet with all the infrastructure. It still works in 1080p mode, so if budget is not quite as, as much of a concern, they want to future-proof themselves, maybe the mid to large size churches are going to invest in 4K. Uh, higher education uh, is going to try to get the 4K knowing that these cameras have a five-year warranty and it's a long-term investment. And then, of course, the Link 4K supports Dante, Again, something you can learn about on our website, but is used more in the enterprise and larger deployments for musical venues and live streaming systems. Now, one of the things I'd like to show, because this really has changed the PTZ camera market, is auto tracking. And it's really been a dream of at PTZ Optics to have these cameras fully automatically follow subjects because they have the robotic PTZ camera control, but not all PTZ cameras have built in auto tracking. So this is perfect for following a pastor at the front of a church, following a teacher at the front of a classroom, or following a performer at the front of a stage. So um, let me go ahead and show you a demo of the auto tracking. Now, uh, essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the auto tracking button on this camera. And I've already set a preset, which is preset zero. So it's gonna go ahead and zoom into that spot and look for the subject. So oftentimes we'll have, you know, in a classroom that will go to the front of the classroom, in a stage we'll have it go to a stage point. But one of the things I wanna show here is I'd like to have uh, my producer come in here for a moment. And I wanna show how this is not just motion-based auto tracking, but we actually support com built-in computer vision. So you can actually select a specific person. So if I'm standing next to Mike here, it knows to track me, but how does it know that? Well, you actually have the ability to choose the person you want it to track. And so I'll choose, uh, I'll, I'll choose you, Mike, and click enter. And it's now going to track Mike only. 
it's not going to track me anymore. So this is a really big deal for houses of worship where the pastor might also have a choir on stage. For a teacher where there might also be students in, in the scene, it automatically tracks just the person that you select. Thank you, Mike. So I'll go ahead and uh, basically turn the tracking off here and continue our presentation. Now, high level, I just wanted to make sure everyone ends this session understanding what a PTZ camera is. So I've got some PTZ cameras here on uh, our, our stage here, and I'm going to show you how a joystick is able to control them remotely. So uh, I'm going to show you these, what, this camera here, uh, and I'm going to use a joystick controller to control this PTZ Optics Move 4K. I should say it's in, available in white and gray. It is connected over the network. You can see the Ethernet connection there. And I'm going to show you a PTZ camera joystick that's allowing me to control this camera. Um, and this is all happening over the network. Um, so this is a PTZ Optics joystick. This is the Super Joy. And you can see here that I can control this camera in near zero latency very quickly and easily. Give you guys a little peek at our studio here. Here I am controlling it. So it's a great camera for being able to, you can see I got the joystick over here, uh, just connected over a network. So let me show you my PowerPoint. I want to show you a con quick connection diagram of how sometimes people are using uh, these systems. So these, this camera is connected to a network switch. And there might be a laptop or a live streaming computer. There's a camera. And then you can even use Wi-Fi to control the camera with the smartphone. And then we've got our joystick over here. Now we've got tons of uh, examples of, of setups like this on our website that you guys can check out. Um, and if you'd like to mount the camera, you can mount it to the wall. You can mount it to the ceiling. And you can mount it to the pole. In fact, I think I have a ceiling uh, mounted camera here that I can show you guys. Uh, really quickly to show you. The ceiling mounts are really popular. People love putting these on the wall or the ceiling and even a pole mount to drop it down uh, as well. Now, really quickly, I want to just introduce you to our new entry-level PTZ Optics Studio Pro camera. This is a live streaming camera that starts at just $699. It has all the inputs and outputs that many customers want. Plug and play USB, HDMI, it supports NDI, which is a new IP video production protocol. You can stream directly from this camera to YouTube or Facebook. Um, and I just wanted to thank everybody for joining. I'm, I'm just high level, didn't want to go over too much. Um, but I've been using the Studio Pro this whole presentation. I was using it here to show this close-up. Look at how nice the focus is for close-ups. And then it just snaps back to high quality. So thank you, everybody. Check out our next video where we're going to dig into more details into the PTZ Optics brand new pan tilt zoom camera line.